Hello and welcome to my video um, Hero Wars uh, Hero Review So in this video I will go through all the heroes and uh, tell you what I think about them give you some tips and tricks and maybe suggest a team for them uh, just all I know about them So first of all I want to say that there are many ways to play this game and one thing that I think is really bad when you go in the in the rankings and you check out arena and then you just go um, yes yeah, sure this is a good team but there there are others also also very good teams and I would not just copy the top players on your server that's one thing I would not do actually just make your own um, um, think uh, on your own and uh, try to find your own way But maybe some general guidelines of course. Yeah, they can help so that you don't need to repeat all the mistakes I have done in uh, the over two years. I playing this game now Yeah, this um, can certainly help some rough guideline. So let's start um, Yeah, Cleaver is the only hero. I, I never got him in the chest. You can only get him in the the heroic chest but I'm not very keen uh, on spending too much emeralds on this chest so that's why I never got him he is a good tank um, he has armor as a first artifact you will hear me a lot talk about the first artifact in this video because the first artifact is really one of the more important things um, when we take Lian for instance then we go artifacts and you can see her first artifact is Idol of Charm and it will increase the magic attack for the whole team by 21,000 so this is important when you have her in a team with other mage, mages then they will profit from her however when you have her in a team with physical attacker these guys will not profit from her first artifact so it does not have to um, make the others profit but when it doesn't then really the skills uh, somehow have to have some synergies with the other guys on your teams the skills are the most important um, it's the most important factor to to watch out for when you want to see who can um, has a good synergy who can work together well with whom then you have to check out the the skills Okay, so Cleaver has armor as a first artifact. Most tanks have armor, so that is very good, of course. And he has an interesting first skill, the hook. And with this hook, he can, uh, yeah, he can m uh, mess up the the order of the enemy line and uh, by dragging the furthermost hero to the front line. So, yeah. We were talking about Lian. Lian is actually a good hero for the back row against Cleaver because with her fourth skill, the Conciliation, when Lian is damaged, the enemy who dealt damage is charmed for two seconds. So when Cleaver is using his first skill, the Rusty Hook or what it is called, then she will charm him in and stop him in mid-motion, which will lead to that she will not be dragged to the front. Um, and she is one of the only heroes that... Uh, can resist this uh, hook attack of cleaver so yeah sure when you get cleaver it's good but uh, this is the first rusty hook attack yeah is his first skill but when you don't have him uh, it's not that bad either because his maximum armor is not that strong so there are tanks with a better armor than him he is a good uh, mixture of attack and defense so yeah, if you get him, it's good. If you don't have him, it's not that big a catastrophe. So, then the newest hero uh, added by the developers is this Andvari guy. And uh, he is very interesting, I have to say. And also his skills are um, very interesting. Yeah, especially this second skill. He will uh, protect mm, the nearest ally from displacement. So this especially means that when uh, you have a Kark in the opponent team, then Kark will not be able to lift off 
uh, this uh, ally that Anwar is protecting. So yeah, he's a really good guy to have against lines with Kark. <coughs> uh, yeah, I've seen his stone grasp. Uh, this certainly is not the strongest of all the attacking skills. This nature's barrier. Um, uh, this is also uh, looks very nice in the battle. So yeah, when you want to have a good guy against Kark, um, certainly a good idea to go for him. Also, his uh, position is rather to the front, um, which is interesting because in the campaign there are certain levels where. Um, it makes sense to go with Kark, for instance, in first position, and then it is nice to have someone behind Kark who is supporting him. Let me take a quick look um, at how he's positioning. So Andvari, um, and when you play with Kark or Elmir too, Elmir, no, Elmir is placing behind him, but Kark will place in front of him. So that is very clever, then he will support Kark. For Arena, this is maybe not the best. Usually, there are some lines with the twins. Mm, the line we have just seen before in Arena, where you can use uh, Krista as a tank. You see the guy who is on rank 1 here, he is playing with no tank. He's using the twins, Krista and Lars, and he is tanking with Krista. That's a possibility. But usually, it is smart to have a tank in your line. Uh, yeah, so we have seen when you play with Andwari, and then you can use Kark in first position. There are also some other heroes that can play like this. Uh, Marcus is one of him, and as is, actually I used Marcus in one one mission in chapter 15 or a few missions. So those are interesting characters. My feeling is that Andvari is not uh, really ultimately necessary, but if you get annoyed by losing to lines uh, uh, containing Kark, then maybe you want to level him up. But otherwise from that, my feeling is he's not really uh, necessary for the campaign or in other levels. But sure, his skills are attractive, so why not go for him? Then we come to Astrid and Lucas. She also has a, a very nicely designed hero, and uh, her first artifact, uh, she will, uh, her little, uh, <clears throat> is it a cat? <coughs> yeah, or a dog, no. Yeah, her pet transforms into rage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, her pet transforms into a, a bigger form and then goes to the front line where it is serving as a tank, so when you use her, she plays in the in the back row, then maybe you don't need a tank either. She has also armor as first artifact. I think it is armor. Yeah, once this is activated, it is armor. And uh, this is also um, very reasonable to have someone in the back rank with armor as a first artifact. So yeah, why not go for her? I never went for her, but... Her first skill uh, uh, with Lucas is nice, of course. Then Celeste, I did not use her on my main account. I'm playing on another server with a mini now, and I found out she's really great for the tower. And also, I think once she, you can unlock her fourth skill, then Celeste's basic attacks now deal magic damage while she is in her dark form and target her allies with healing when she's in her light form. So then she becomes also a very strong attacker, especially because her glyphs, uh, one of them is magic penetration, which uh, yeah adds a lot of uh, power to her magic attacks and yeah that she's very a strong hero. Uh, then we go to Rufus. Yeah, he's a special tank you can use against mage lines, but uh, he's not a tank to go for uh, when you have resources to level up one tank. He's a rather special tank. 
um, his stats, okay, my Rufus is not leveled up at all, so we can't really say uh, much here, but I know that his armor uh, statistic is not very good, even when he is leveled uh, uh, far up. So, yeah, special tank, if you want to annoy uh, or hinder mage lines attacking you, why not go for him? He's a fun character too, as most characters are, in fact. Uh, then we come to Daredevil. Well, she is not uh, really very popular. She has an interesting position in the lineup. Um, she's dealing um, a lot of physical damage, uh, inflicting a lot of physical damage. Also, her forced artifact is physical attack. So, I don't know why she... Uh, maybe she's not that strong, but... One could try and maybe the developers uh, will make her better from time to time the developers they decide to upgrade kind of a character that is a bit too weak maybe in relation to other characters so when you use her she will be rather to the second to, to last is her position actually for physical attacks it makes usually sense to add nebula because Nebula's fourth skill, she is supporting her two immediate neighbors. And uh, then you, you have her right in front of their devil. Um, and uh, you, you want to add someone with uh, armor penetration as a first artifact. So we can go for another lady. We can go for Ching Mao here. So Nebula takes turns in supporting Jing um, Mao and Daredevil. She does that with her fourth skill, we will see that later. Now, yeah, we need to add a tank and someone who is uh, in the back. So here maybe it would be a possibility to go for uh, to go for Astrid and Lucas. And yeah, as a, as a tank, when you have a strong when you want to have a strong physical attack line and you really want to have the all-out attack line, then you go for Galahad, because Galahad is the only tank that has a physical attack increase as a first artifact. So, yeah, in last position, um, for the all-out attack line, Astrid has armor, so here Chet, he has armor too, but he would be better, actually. He's really, for any physical attack line, he's the guy to go for in last position. Uh, yeah, so, something like this would be very interesting, an interesting line for Daredevil. Then, let's move on. Krista, she is uh, the sister of Lars, and a very strong mage, together with Lars. So, yeah, you can use Krista, then make sure to level up also, you have to level up Lars also. And then you can go for a mage line. That is very strong in Arena and Guild Wars. Something like this. In most mage lines it, it makes sense to add Jorgen. And because he is hindering the opponent from using his his ultimates and also with his first artifact he's increasing magic attack which of course helps Krista and Lars. Um, Lars first artifact is uh, magic penetration so this makes also sense. Then as I recommended before as a tank to go for in a mage line when you want to have a really attacking line you can go for Aurora uh, a line that is a bit more on the defensive side, then you go for Astaroth. Uh, of course you can also use Cleaver here when you have him, but uh, for mage lines uh, Astaroth and, uh, uh, and Aurora make the most sense. Now who to put in last position? Well, um, with the mage line there usually Helios uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, some, some line like this is very strong with the twins, so yeah, go for them. I'm not sure I did not really use the twins, uh, so I don't know how they are doing in the campaign, how useful they are there, but their first skills, especially Lars Storm, is really attractive to watch. And many people recommend them, and they are really strong. 
So we come to Maya. She's an interesting character. She is uh, partly a healer, but also has some strong attacking uh, attacking skills. Uh, she is really very versatile. I'm not even sure which line I would go for with her. Uh, let's check out what what is her first artifact. Uh, magic defense. Okay, so you can use her for a physical attack line or also for a, uh, a magical attack line because magic defense, of course, you, one can always use a little bit of magic defense, especially when one is up against the line with the twins. So, yeah, I'm not a specialist for her. Uh, I My feeling is she's doing great if she has the middle position. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to give you a line here with her. I mm, I know she is strong, and I know one player uh, who was my guild master for um, for many months. Uh, he has uh, a very strong Maya, so uh, I know she is strong, and there are really good teams with her. She's also good for the tower, of course. In the tower, it makes sense to have uh, one. Uh, two or even three healers in order to uh, finish the tower every day so, so yeah you have to make your own um, inquiries here about uh, uh, who to add then Satori also one of the newer heroes he's designed to to fight uh, Kark, Orion and Jorgen a very strong mage also and one of the two mages who have uh, magic attack as their basic attacks, to the other one is Celeste. Uh, yeah, with him, a strong team for him. As a general rule, when you have a mage you don't know who to add, uh, it usually makes sense to add the organ and Faceless. Because Faceless has magic penetration as a first artifact, the organ has magic increase and is one of the strongest control heroes there is. So this uh, leads usually to a good team and then all you have to do is uh, decide on your tank. As we have seen before here again, mm, I would uh, go for Aurora. I like to attack and she's really much more attacking than Astaroth. However, Astaroth can bring some, um, someone back with his fourth skill, so yeah, hard to say. For Arena, maybe you should go for Astaroth, like I did, because it depends. When you have a superstar like Kark in your line, and once your superstar died, you will practically uh, you will probably lose. Then maybe it is a good idea to go for Astaroth. When you have many strong guys in your line, then I think you can afford to go for Aurora because even when Satori dies, you still have Jorgen and Faceless who can deal a lot of damage, especially Faceless if he's going to copy the right guys. And then last position, if we want to add a more attack power, then uh, I recommend you go for Lian or maybe also Helios. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so next one, uh, Artemis. She is one of the heroes uh, not used by that many, a bit similar to Daredevil, also not that popular. Mm, but you can go for she a similar lineup uh, that I showed before with Daredevil. You can go Nebula, oops, Nebula, and then in front of her someone with uh, uh, armor penetration because Nebula has a physical attack increase as first artifact, she too has physical attack increase so then let's add maybe uh, uh, Elmir or um, or Ching Mao as we have seen before and then again whom to add as a tank in a physical attack line the maximum attack we will get with Galahad mm. Or you can go with the tank who, a tank who has armor. Chaba, uh, I don't know why he's unpopular as a tank. He's a bit unpo unpopular, but mm, I think he's solid. So just put any tank that has armor as a first artifact. And in last position, as before, uh, Chet adds the most uh, to the for the attack. Uh, with the Astrid, you have a no. Oh, she places places in front of Artemis, so that would not be good because Artemis 
armor isn't high enough for this last position, so he cannot use her. So yeah, then go for Chet or Marta, of course. Marta, she is a good uh, tank. Mm, can use her in the tower. Her third skill is nice for the tower. So this would be a nice line for Artemis. 